Hey guys, Ashley and I are back again today for an update on her planning style because she's been planning for about six weeks now and I think there's some updates you want to give everybody, right? Yes, I have actually a list of things on a sticky note here that I'm going to go over. I think it's really interesting myself to see how much I've changed and evolved in my planning <laughs> style over just a short period of time, especially after the last video we filmed. Y'all left a lot of nice comments, so thank you for those. And I got a lot of inspiration. And you're going to see how I took that and took some other things that I came up with and combined it all. And basically, I don't plan anything like I did the last time you saw my planner. So so I think the first thing we should do, wait, okay, first of all, my bangs, just ignore those. Some of y'all may know I'm growing my bangs out, so they're at a very awkward length and I can't figure out what to do with them. I'm trying to put them behind my ears, but they're a little too short, so they keep falling out. So just look at Ashley through the duration of the video. You still look pretty. <laughs> Anyway, I think we're going to start by doing a flip through of Ashley's planner. I think that would be a really good way for y'all to see how she started off and how she's changed. So I will flip the camera down and we'll get started. Okay, here is Ashley's planner. And just for reference, Ashley's hands are going to be on the right. And my hands are over here on the left. So go ahead, Ashley. Tell them about your planner. Okay, so I know y'all saw this last time. This is part of my vision board. The rest is in the back. But I'll just... Flip to January. Now, let me ask first, are you concerned with using the whole planner? Or are you just using this for fun? I'm using it for fun. I am, obviously I didn't fill this out. There's some random pages in the front. I didn't fill out. This planner came with those basic sheets of stickers. Mm -hmm. I didn't worry about using those. I don't want to be stressed out thinking I need to use every inch of the planner. I need to make use of every single tab and every single right. line that's in here. I'm just trying to have fun right. and remember my life as best I can. This is the first monthly spread I did. It's pretty blank, as you can see. This was okay. I haven't done it again. I'm still trying to figure out how I like to do my monthly planner spread, so any ideas on that are very welcome. And then this was the first I ever planned in this planner because I got this planner, I believe I got it on this day, this Friday, and then I back planned this when we got back from a little trip we took. We went to Tryon Palace. And <laughs> we went to Old Salem. Old Salem. Sorry, I don't know why I said Tryon Palace. <laughs> but well, what gave you the idea to put your admission ticket sticker in there? I've seen you do that. Okay. And I think it's a really good way to remember things because what are you going to do with the sticker otherwise besides throw it away? But it's a nice sticker and it, you look at it and you remember where you went unless you're me and then you say a completely different name. But as you can see with this, I had no idea what I was doing. I have random headers in here, random scripts in here. I was just bullet pointing things because I didn't know how to plan them. But this is still a huge step up from my little little planner that I showed y'all last time. For a first planner spread, I think it's really good. Well, I had a lot of inspiration because I've seen what you do. Mm -hmm. And I've seen what people like your friends do and what you show me on Instagram. So I wasn't going in completely blind. If I had been going in blind... <laughs> So we went from this to this, which again, I think you can see a big jump in how it went. This is much better, much more similar to what I do still now. And again, I was putting in little things that I liked, that I saw and liked. This page is exactly the same as the last page. And I remember this week because I started getting a little frustrated with planning because I had a lot of space on these two days especially and I didn't know how to fill it up and I felt bad that I wasn't filling up my days. I didn't have things to mark. It had the opposite effect on me whereas I had loved marking things. When I didn't have things to mark, I felt almost guilty like I wasn't using the planner or I should have done more that day. And I think a lot of us planner people feel the same way. I hope y'all can differentiate our voices. Amber's talking right now. <laughs> but um, a lot of planner people feel the same way. I know I do where I want to fill out the planner to a certain degree. And if I don't have enough things to mark or that I don't want to mark, I feel like I'm wasting my planner. So you can comment below and let us know what you think about that if that is a problem you find yourself having too. So that was one thing I had a problem with here. But I actually got a lot of help from Amber's followers and friends when they left comments on her previous video with me in it and said to start using washi tape and things like that which I did on this week 
and here's another this is funny so this is from a library book that i picked up and just randomly picked up the book and i was reading it one night actually the night before my birthday and this fell out i thought that was a really interesting coincidence mm -hmm. really fun and then here you can see i started to use washi because i had a lot of time again that i wasn't filling up so i used washi strips of washi to fill that up and i actually like how it sort of breaks up the, the the day and adds decoration. What's funny to me about you using washi tape is you're actually not using it the way planner people do. Um, for example, you don't, you just cut it with scissors, like eyeball it with scissors oh, yeah. and then put it in. It's totally crooked. Which is so hilarious. I've never seen anybody do that, that before. We all use X-Acto knives or like a plastic ruler or a card. Um, it's just so funny to see the things that people who plan but aren't planners come up with. <laughs> the uh, Innovation, I guess you could say. See, I, I knew that's how y'all did it, but I didn't want to buy an X-Acto knife. You can borrow mine. Well, I don't want to have to come into your room every night when I'm playing and say, hey, can I borrow your X-Acto knife? I have a million plastic rulers. I'll give you one after this video. <laughs> Thank you. So this is where I started to use washi, and then it really took off here. As you can see, there's a lot of washi. I started using really big stickers like that one over there. I started layering the washi with the stickers. I started layering different types of washi, and I really enjoyed it. And even now, looking back, this is actually an incredibly hard week for me, as you can probably tell by the <laughs> the notes on the side and the types of stickers I'm using, like this little guy. But looking back at it with the, the washi and the happy stickers makes me feel better about it, and it makes me remember that I got through it and... It's over now and we're moving forward, which is really nice. And then I believe the next one, yeah, this is the current week. This is how I'm doing things now. So I'm still using the sidebar to fill in either positive notes or I put, I'm put. i thinking of putting week highlights here, things that went really well this week or that I really had a good time with. I'm still loving the washi and I'm loving the mix of stickers. Obviously, I've got my favorite Winstons and then I've got the Pusheens and other stickers. You have unreleased NPC stickers. Yeah, I got, I got first dibs on those. Well, I, I kind of inspired you to make these, so it's yeah. only fair. But this is my current playing style. I'm really don't touch that side of the table. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm I'm glad I got past the point of thinking that I need to fill out every single space in the planner. I need to put everything I ever do in my planner because this is I want it to be relaxing and fun and functional, and this is much closer to that for me. So this is how my planner currently looks. Okay, we're back facing us now, and we have where's that the list? We have a list of things to talk about in relation to the planner. The planner. So, <laughs> so first off, do you want to show them the pens you're using now? Yes, these are the only two pens I ever use, and to be honest, Ashley does not have a pen collection the way most of us do. Mm -hmm. Have you ever gone out and bought yourself a pen or wanted to try a new pen? Or heard about a pen and thought it would be nice? Definitely never that. I don't know anybody who talks about pens that way. So at work in my office, we, we write a lot and we use a lot of pens, but we use a lot of just, you know, clicky big pens or paper make pens, whatever. Actually, she brought me this pen. It's a Uniball 1. It's pink. It actually writes in pink ink. I think you just got these randomly in the office, right? Mm -hmm. And you brought me one home. So that happens sometimes, but I don't think you really... You brought this to me because it was pink. You didn't bring it to me because you thought it was a good pen. I also brought it because I never heard you mention that one. Because normally if Amber mentions a pen, mm -hmm. I will remember if she mentions you know, the Sarasa or the Twisby, what have you. But I had not heard her mention that one. So I brought it so you could try it out. Which I had not heard of this pen before, but I do really like it. Of course, it's pink, so I'm not using it in my actual planners. But it's fun to use in my bullet journal. But just a side note about pens. She has a lot of... <laughs> she has a lot of pen opportunities, is what I'm trying to say. But I don't seek out pens, and I'm really not that particular about what I'm writing with. The only qualm I have is when I'm writing in my planner, obviously I don't want the pen to bleed through the paper because this paper is, is cheap. She's, it's like printed paper. <laughs> she's very particular about the bleeding, which is funny to me because I think most of us, our planners, like any of y'all that use Hope and Yichi Cousins with me, it just, everything bleeds through pretty much, and we're all just really used to it, so I find it funny that... You who aren't particular about my washi about is crooked, the, the washi whatever. being straight, the like layout of the day being spaced out. She's really particular about the ink bleeding through. That's such a funny thing to me. And I didn't know that about myself until I used this tool pen in my planner because this is this is my favorite pen to write with in general. 
and it bled through and I really didn't like it. I just didn't like it. So, so you I, don't actually use this in there? Not in here. I you, That's my normal writing pen. And then I used this, this just, I used this. It's a Muji gel pen. Muji gel pen to actually write in my planner. And this one doesn't bleed. It's really smooth. I like the thickness and I think it looks good in my planner. I think you also tried the Pilot G2, but that bled a bit. It did bleed. So Again though, if you had a different planner with a slightly thicker paper, I don't think it would be a problem because you write with all kinds of, do your, your pens don't bleed in your planner, do they? It depends. I mean, in my cousin or my touch show, they all bleed. The twist band use bleeds. It doesn't really bother me. I'm just super used to it. When I first started using Hobonichi, the first Hobonichi planner I had was a Hobonichi Weeks and it drove me nuts that the ink bled through. I actually started using a ballpoint pen in there. I know, ugh. but I was so just, I didn't like the bleeding. So I got over that, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, you definitely have to make some concessions with this hobby I've learned. Like Amber said, I don't make sure my washi is incredibly straight or that everything is perfectly spaced out. But I'm particular about my pens, so. All right, so you do like washi now. Mm -hmm. You don't tend seem to like full boxes or half boxes. You never ask me for those and you don't mention them yeah. ever. <laughs> you like the washi more. I don't like full boxes or half boxes. I did use one on my most recent spread, but it was, is that a quarter box? Well, it's from a, it's from a Happy Planner sticker book. So I guess it'd be a quarter box. But that's about the thickest I would ever use. I don't, I still don't like, I don't, the idea of using a half box or something like that doesn't call to me. Well, that's because you love planning lots of small things. Mm -hmm. You love, she loves when her day is just full of 20 bullet points, mm -hmm. as opposed to a lot of us. Um, I think the standard now for like a typical vertical box would be three to four things in each box and then a full box in between the two boxes. So, I also, but again, you aren't seeing people's spreads. Mm -hmm. You don't know anything about the trends in the planner community. Um, like right now, it's really popular to use those little thin labels and put four in a box. She has no idea what that even is. Nope. So, I also feel like I do have a lot of really small and good things that happen to me every day and I like to mark them. Just remember how lucky I am to have all this stuff happen to me in my life and I just like it. I like to mark all these happy things. I like how you're keeping your planning about memory keeping and not worrying about other stuff. It's so nice to find someone who doesn't care about the planner trends because sometimes I myself get tired of the planner trends and I just don't want to see some of the stuff that's going on in the planner community. It just, I don't like how far it's gone from what it used to be. I don't want to get in, into that right now, but it's just really nice to see someone who's planning because they want to plan and have fun. So you already mentioned that using your sidebar for highlights, is that what you want to use it for forever or you don't know yet? That's my favorite thing I've done so far. I've only tried out highlights. You tried motivational quotes sort of. Yeah, highlights, motivation, goals sort of. I think in one of them I put important things over there, but I don't I didn't really like doing it in that area. So I think I'll stick with that. So far, I really like it. And I, I really am interested in doing the highlights portion there. So hopefully once this rough patch is over, I'll be able to just do highlights there and I won't need the motivational quotes as much. The next thing you write down is that you're scared of my Twisby. Yes. So even, <laughs> let me just preface this by saying, even when I was buying this and when it came in and shipped. She got it for me as a gift. I. When I, I opened the package to make sure it was right, of course, that it's in the wrong color or something. And I was so afraid I was going to break it, even when I was opening the package, because all I knew was it was a fountain pen and there was glass involved and delicate parts. So even back then, I was afraid of this pen. So it's it, this is not a new, new thing. You're definitely very hesitant to spend money on this hobby. I mean, you bought one of the cheapest planners you could get. You're getting all your stickers from me. You bought a big, she bought one of those big washi packs from Hobby Lobby that has like 50 rolls in it. You bought that on a sale. Mm -hmm. So that's another cool thing is you're not worried about the money that goes into your planner. It's just, you can, you can make it cute with more affordable things. Like I touched on earlier, what's important to me is what's in the planner. So as long as I have a way to mark the 15,000 things that I think are important every day, that's all that matters. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I, I've actually had a couple of times where I'm playing and I, I think to myself, I don't have a sticker for this, but yeah, I don't exactly have a sticker for when my manager brings me a muffin. <laughs> Almost like we're going to draw a small scene. Mm -hmm. So I just make it work with what I have. 
I have muffin stickers though, just for a future. I reference. used a cupcake. It's close enough. Yeah. Okay, this is really funny to me. So, if you watch my channel, you know that I do my Hobonichi cousin plan with me's as a memory plan with me's, and I plan the whole week in one go. I also have my other planners where I plan day by day, do a little bit of forward forward planning or plan like the morning of. So I plan both ways. I plan a bunch of days at once and I plan one day at a time. Um, I actually cannot stand planning more than one day at a time. It is so funny to me because she feels like she has to sit down every night and plan that day specifically. I'm not sure if that's because you feel like you're gonna forget stuff if you wait or it's just too overwhelming to put out a bunch of stickers. So it's, it's the second part plus something else. So I, I write a little list every day of stuff I do on a sticky note. So I'm, I'm not gonna forget, but I, so this actually happened because I was really busy one night last week and I could not plan that night. So I, I told myself I'd do it the next night and I got busy again. And then the next night I was able to plan, but I had three days in a row to plan. This is my first time ever doing this. First time ever planning more than one day at a time. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, I felt like I had so much to mark and I had to do it for so long, I had to mark things in my planner. It was more like a chore almost. And it seemed to take the fun for me out of marking every little thing I did when I just had to mark every little thing and then every little thing and then every little thing. I do think though with practice that will be better because the first time I did it, I had so many stickers out. I had three sticky notes that I was going off of and I had all this blank space in my planner that I was trying to fill out and it just was overwhelming for me. But again, I think even if I had only done Two days of back planning, it would have been a lot easier for me. The third day was just, it was just too much. It was just way too much. That's so funny to me because I personally love sitting down and planning my whole week and putting down a ton of stickers at one time. It's so fun to spend an hour or two hours just playing with my planner. It's just my me time, my relaxing time, my little planning world. I love it. And I, I don't know about y'all, how y'all plan if you like to put down a bunch of stickers at once, but I can't imagine only ever getting to put down one day's worth of stickers at a time. It would drive me nuts, I think. And it's funny that you say that because I don't even like when I'm planning, I do not like to sit there and flip through my sticker books to get my stickers, put one down, flip through and get another sticker, put that one down. I actually sit down and I have a blank sheet of sticker paper that Amber gave me. The backing where you can peel stickers off. And I'll go through my sticky note that I have with all my stuff on it and I'll pick out the stickers and put them on the sticky on the paper. And then I'll just have one sheet of stickers that I Wait, pull some, from. Some people do do that. I've seen that before where if you watch a plan with me, they might prepare that sheet before they start so it saves time. I know that's not unknown. I'm sure you thought that was like a new thing. But... No, I've seen you do that before. And I actually did that when we did that old plan with me back on your channel. Because again, I it was too overwhelming for me to have all those sheets of stickers out on the table. And it just I like to have it simplified, which I guess you could really describe my planning style as simplified back to basics type. Planning. I mean, some people would say this is a ton of stickers and a lot of washi tape because when I think simple planning, I think pen and ink, maybe like two or three mm -hmm. stickers a day. So it depends on who you ask. Everyone's got different opinions on what constitutes functional and decorative planning and what means what. Yeah. Whenever I post my functional planner setups for my Hobonichi, my common place book and my Techo and things like that, or if I post a minimal sticker spread, I always get dislikes from people who don't think I'm minimal, minimal enough or don't consider it a functional spread. So it's all really, it's all opinionated. Right. So speaking of going through your sticker notebooks, do you want to show them your sticker binders that you're using? Yeah. So I have two. I have one, of course, that's just for Winston's. I don't know if anyone remembers these about three years ago in my shop. I sold, I did a presale for these Winston um, sticker notebooks. This is not the one Ashton's using. This is actually um, one I had left, but it's just a little hard plastic cover with sheets inside if you put stickers in. So I gave Ashley one of those mm -hmm. for her Winston's and the back looks like this, but so that's where she got this. And then I also got my other sticker binder from Amber. I only have two. And this was just a little, Amber actually used to use this one for her own sticker collection. This is just a little miniature binder. I got it from the Target dollar spot. And it has, Just little rings inside, like an old binder, and it has little sheets inside. What are these? Those plastic, plastic sleeves. Like plastic stickers. sleeves, and I just put my stickers in there based on what they are. So you've made little labels out of washi tape. Yeah, you told me to do that. Yeah, yes. I do that with mine. And it's a good idea, but that's that's all this one is. It's very simple and functional. I like this one. I keep it in my planning cubby with my other binder and my washi tape and my planner. So are you aware of the different ways people store their stickers? Like, would you change them or? 
change the way you store yours. People do it not in binders. People use accordion folders. I've seen people use like the little acrylic drawers. Um, it just all kinds of stuff. But do you like that enough to not want to change? Mm -hmm, I like that. I think that's extremely functional. Before I had those, Amber can attest to this, I had just several sheets of stickers that I was using. I kept them in a pile on my desk. And that was not, not the best system. Not good at all. <laughs> that though, I really like. If you had started with acrylic uh, acrylic drawers or with a file folder, I'm, that's probably what I would have end up, ended up doing as well. But I really like the binders so far. They really work for me. Binders and the little sticker albums are my favorite ways to store stickers personally too. So you mentioned your sticker cubby or your planning cubby. Do you want to tell them about your planning cubby? So I have a desk in my room to start off. And then on the desk, I have a little shelving unit. And one of the shelving units I cleaned out, it used to hold all the books I was planning to read, but I moved those. And in there I keep, like I said, I keep my planner in there. I keep my box of washi tapes and I keep my two sticker binders. And I really like it. I like having a dedicated area on my desk for my planning and my supplies. Mm -hmm. It just makes it feel, it's like when I take everything out of that cubby and I put it in front of me, it's like, this is what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm doing my memory planning. I'm doing my my goals, I'm doing everything I wanted to do with this hobby. And it really is, like you mentioned, me time. It's very focused, very, this is what I'm doing, and then I pack it all up and put it back. And it's there nice and neat waiting for me when I wanna go back to planning again. It's just, it's super nice to have a hobby like that because so many of my hobbies are chaotic and it's just nice to have one that's all together. So it sounds like we might need a tour of your planning cubby in okay. the upcoming. That'll take about 30 seconds. So let's see what else is on here. Um, okay. <laughs> you wrote down that all your sticker ideas, I make them come to life. How do you think your planning would be different if you didn't have unlimited access to Winston's and you couldn't ask me to just draw you stuff every time you wanted something? So I would not enjoy that because, first of all, it's I really love being able to help you with your business. Give me ideas, you mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. when, when I say, like, oh, do you have this sticker? Or have you thought about drawing Winston doing this? Mm -hmm. Or what have you? It really... It's so fun to be able to help you with that. Actually, in recent months, a lot of my ideas are coming from Ashley, so you can thank her for the, new, for the recent new releases. And if obviously, obviously, if I didn't have you to draw the stickers and to give me stickers out of your collection, first of all, that would be a lot of money on this hobby. So I'm really glad I did not have to drop, you know, $200, $300 on this, trying to figure out what I wanted to use and what I wanted to work with. And I would use, I'm sure I'd use a ton less stickers because I am a little loosey-goosey with my stickers because I know I can get more, Amber can print more, and I do appreciate that. It's not, I'm not trying to take advantage of you, I promise. I know. It's just, I am very lucky that I can go to Amber and ask her for stickers and get them. And especially right now when I'm first starting, because if I decide I don't like the sticker anymore, I can give it back to Amber or I need this sticker, I can get it. Mm -hmm. Or I can cover this up, I can change this. So I'm, it's I'm nice to be able to to have someone I can go to like that. I'm sure if, if you didn't have me to give you stickers for free, you would probably have taken advantage of my Misfit grab bags mm -hmm. and stuff like that, other shots Misfit grab bags. So right. I think um, you'll you'll probably always keep this on the le less expensive side. I, I do plan to because I do not see myself making this again into a, a beautiful planner with the really nice kits and the matching washi and the scrapbooking aspect and the calligraphy, all that stuff. Stuff, I bit my tongue. <laughs> I don't see myself doing that, which will help keep the cost down, but also I'm very conscious of how much this is costing me and whatnot. Well, if we weren't on a debt-free lifestyle, it wouldn't matter that much, but right. I think that affects how you how you think about money just whenever we spend any money, not it, just your stickers. So. It does. It's not just the stickers that she's right, compromising on. I can't, I can't justify spending $75 on stickers when I need to make an extra car payment or what have you, so. I keep it all in check and I still have a good time. Which is what matters. Um, the last thing you had on here was sticker shopping, but you kind of just covered that, talking about all of that. So I guess that's really all we had for today's video. Y'all got to see Ashley's planner update and I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have anything else you wanna say? Thanks for watching as always. And let me know what you think of my progress. If you have any more ideas, if you plan like this or used to plan like this, let me know what helped you move on and move forward and evolve in your planning. I would love to hear more from y'all. Real quick, do you ever plan on, I guess, joining the planner community as in making a planning Instagram or 
making plan B videos or anything like that? I can tell by your face the answer is no, but go ahead. Well, I already, I don't use any social media, so I would not see myself making an Instagram just to show my spreads. I'm not sure who would want to see these. <laughs> And that's not, they, they love that's not me taking a jab at myself, but when there are so many more beautiful ones and so many where people can remember what pin they're using and, and where they got the sticker from, I don't see why you want to look at my spread and, you know, I'm using cast offs from the sticker queen, so. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, a lot of us who follow people and watch people plan, it's, it's about the planner. We like the way they plan and how their planner looks, but it's also about the person. Mm -hmm. Everyone that I watch plan... It's because I like them, and if, if they started planning a different way, it's not, I wouldn't be like, meh, unfollow. Bye. It's just, it's more about the person. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think even if you started Instagram today and you had this, as you call it, to show them, I think people would still follow you. Oh, I'm sure they would, but I'm not a social media person at all. I, like I said, I don't have an Instagram, so I definitely do not see myself joining that way. As far as doing plan with me's, I would be happy to do some for your channel. Again, well, then it would be weird because you'd have to plan every single day and I'd have to sandwich the clips together. That was a weird hand motion. For, <laughs> for doing your channel, I could I could hold off and, and make it work. For I my suppose. channel, you'll sacrifice your For, for y'all, I will sacrifice. But I do not see myself making my own planner YouTube or making my own YouTube for anything as far as that goes <laughs> I, and doing plan with me's. I think the only way that Ashley would ever get into the planner community is if I ever host a meetup. I've mentioned before wanting to host a Nightingale Paper Co. meetup. I think you'd be really into that and you'd be there all the time and you'd love to meet everybody. That I would because I don't know if y'all can tell, but I love to talk. I love to meet new people. I love to <laughs> interact with people. That's part of what I do at my job. And I'm not to brag, but I'm really good at it. <laughs> She's like the most extroverted person on earth. I mean, so I, I definitely think I would excel being at a planner meetup, mm -hmm. is that what's called? Planner thing and being able to see in person what people are doing, see them, see how they talk about it. And, Do you and even know what goes on at planner meetups? You bring your planner. Yeah. Don't tell me. You bring your planner and you talk about what's in them and you compare styles. I know there's grab bags because you've made some before yeah. and sent them to people. And I think that there's giveaways. Yeah, that's the okay. gist of it. Do I get most? Okay. There's other things like speakers and games and stuff, but... I think that's the only way she'd ever get into the community as far, aside from reading my comments and helping me with stuff, so. Mm -hmm. I'm much more, like Amber said, I am extroverted, but when it comes to social media, I'm much more of a behind the scenes person. In real life, it's the complete opposite, but because a lot of the planner community is online, I am gonna be behind the scenes as far as I can tell for the entirety of the future. Yeah. So I guess that's all we had to cover today. I'm not sure how long this video is, about 20 minutes so far. So I think that's probably long enough. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions for Ashley or if you want us to keep doing these videos, please let me know below. And thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye.